When welding with electrodes, which require special ventilation such as stainless, hard-facing or other products which require special ventilation, or on lead or cadmium-plated steel and other metals or coatings, like galvanized steel, which produce hazardous fumes, be sure to keep exposure as low as possible and below PEL and TLV exposure limits for materials in the fume using local exhaust. In confined spaces, when outdoors or in some other circumstances, a respirator may be required if exposure cannot be controlled in accordance with the PEL or TLV. There are many methods users can select to provide adequate ventilation for a specific application. The following section provides general information which may be helpful in evaluating what type of ventilation equipment may be suitable for your application. When ventilation equipment is installed, you should confirm worker exposure is controlled with applicable limits such as the OSHA PEL and or ACGIH TLV. OSHA regulations, when welding and cutting mild steels, natural ventilation is usually considered sufficient to meet requirements provided that 1. The room or welding area contains at least 10,000 cubic feet, about 22 feet by 22 feet by 22 feet, for each welder. 2. The ceiling height is not less than 16 feet. 3. Cross ventilation is not blocked by partitions, equipment, or other structural barriers. And number 4. Welding is not done in a confined space. Spaces that do not meet these requirements should be equipped with mechanical ventilating equipment that exhaust at least 2,000 CFM of air for each welder, except where local exhaust hoods or booths or airline respirators are used. However, regardless of whether the ventilation meets these requirements, the welder's exposure must be controlled to below the PEL or TLV exposure limit to be adequate. What did we learn in this module? Keep your head out of the fumes, Use adequate ventilation to keep welding fumes from entering your breathing area. The potential health effects of compounds in the electrode or flux are printed in the MSDS. To evaluate a worker's exposure, consult an industrial hygienist to measure your exposure to welding fumes and gases. Some products have enough of a compound that special ventilation, like local exhaust, is necessary what to do to determine what you may be exposed to while welding and the health effects of that exposure. And finally, what to do if there is not adequate ventilation.